Hey everybody, it's time to roll the wind. Thought I'd go over, out, go over a little game within a game action. No idea if I can pull any of it off. Game within a game comes on the come out roll. I'm using a $15 table and I'm doing a $10 world bet or whirl bet. W-O-R-L-D or W-H-I-R-L. It's known as both. Oftentimes you'll see a little globe imprinted up here. It's one way to play the, the come out game. When I do that, I put $10 on the, on the world or one, sometimes just five dollars if it's a low known table. And always put an extra dollar on the ace deuce. The only reason I do that is that gives me the, the same number of chips and payout as the ace deuce and the box cars. Ace eight aces and the box car. The ace deuce pays fifteen to one. These two pay 30 to one. If I've got an extra buck here, I get 30 bucks. Brings everything up the same. You don't have to do it. You don't even have to do this, but if you're good at sniping off uh, some uh, world bets, And hitting those craps numbers on the come out that you need for your all tall small just like that right there come out bet you're gonna lose your 15 got an ace deuce This one's going to pay 15 to 1, right? That gives me my pass line back. Up here, it's kind of a complicated mathematical bet. And I can promise you, I'm going to mess it up. I watch dealers discuss it all the time. <clears throat> because this bet is covering four sevens and four horn numbers. So you've got 10. I'll just pull out my calculator. We've got $10. divided by eight. That's not correct. Six ways, 10. You got a dollar, you really got a dollar <clears throat> on every number. Cause you've got six ways to make a seven and four numbers here. So there's a dollar on each one. So then you get 15 more bucks for that ace deuce. If I'm doing this correctly. So what I do is add a third chip, add one more to the ace deuce, rack the difference, but I've already gotten a three off of my all tall small. Are 10. So that bet's over with. Point would become 10. We were doing it quite a bit in Vegas. Some of the guys were really good at getting at least two of these numbers hit. I don't think we ever had anybody hit three of them. Um, So again, if you're coming out and you want to play this, use 
use your best horn set that's a nine so that would be a lost bet the point would be nine you can throw away some money in a hurry unless you can hit these so I don't normally play them by myself some people like to use uh, straight sixes Again, that's a nine, it's a five, four. There's a lot of different ways to play it. Another way to play it, see so if you're on a twenty-five dollar table, every time I try to do it, they wanted twenty-five dollars in the world. And I said, no, thank you. But if I'm on a twenty-five dollar table, I'm gonna do a five dollar crap check almost always. If we were trying We would do a three-way craps on a $25 table. That gives me $5 on each number. 11 is covered by the pass line. 7 pays the pass line. So you can do a three-way. Just cover the 2, the 3, and the 12. If I was doing that, I'd probably throw this set. 12. So that five would have paid 150. And then I've got my 12 knocked off. They all tall small on the first throw. <clears throat> if you're not going to have a bet working on your initial come out and I seldom do I seldom do then why not try to knock off one of those numbers and be covered since I just got paid hundred and fifty dollars for hitting that 12 30 times 5 I would press it I mean, why not? Do it again. Make 300. That's a three. All right, so we have, in effect, pulled out the 12. Now we've hit the three. 15 times 10. Look, first one paid 150. 15 to 1 on the ace deuce. That's another 150 bucks. That's $300 in the rack. Before you even get started, what do you do? You press it. You can press it until it doesn't hit. At this point, you're up. You've pulled $300. Two. Ace deuce, I mean ace ace. Aces in both places. That's a $30 win on 30 bucks, on 15 bucks. On 50, five times, let's see. No, we're on 30 would be 330 times 
$450 off a 50, initial of $15 bet. Six hundred, seven hundred and fifty dollars off of the table, and you hadn't even set a point yet. You haven't even set a point, and you've pulled seven hundred fifty dollars off the table. Sounds too good to be true. Sometimes you get on a little streak like this, like the forgotten. What do you do when you hit it? You press it. You got now you've got forty dollars on each of the whole hard ways. I mean each on, on each of the crap numbers. There's a nine, six three nine. So the point would become nine and this would go away. Are you practicing your horn numbers? Do you have a way of tracking your horn numbers? If not, get Bone Tracker. Practice with the straight sixes, if nothing else. That's what I just hit those on. Sixes on top, six three on three and four, three and four with sixes on top. think about it and you can do that so what that's a whole payday right there that's a whole deal there's some days you can't make that if you can learn to use sets to give you with your toss the best probabilities of hitting the 2 3 and 12 You're gonna make some money. If you can do them three times in a row like that, you're gonna make some serious money. If you were just pressing up the world every time, buy a nickel. Starting with 10, going to 15, you would have made money. Not near like that, except you would have had some money on that ace deuce. At $2. One of the reasons I kind of like, you know, you can do it with dollars. You don't have to do it with five dollars. You could have done it with one dollar on a low minimum table. If you'd have done it with a dollar, we had a three, paid fifteen. Then we had a 12. Well, we would, have, we would have pressed our bet. Just like that. We had a 12. That would have paid 30 times 2. That would have paid 60. We would have pressed it again. One. Hit the, we hit a 2, 30 times 3, be 90, 75, 85, 90. So even with a dollar, starting out with a dollar here, there's 125, 150, 165. Assuming my math was correct, not a bad dot, not a bad return on a three dollar investment. You got need to protect this maybe anyway. Yeah, you could have you could have put a dollar on the C, two dollars on the C, and still not have protected the full fifteen on your pass line. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred and fifty dollars on a fifteen dollar three way. That's pretty stout.
key is always press because now you're on free money. Press it. You may hit it twice. You may do what I just did and hit it three times. You may hit it more. It's rare to get on up into those numbers, but when you do, sure does look pretty in the rack. So that's something to practice. Practice that come out game. Practice that game within a game. If you're not going to have bets working, try to knock out. We just knocked out three of the hardest numbers on the come out bet and made money. That's almost not quite. Well, it is the all money for five bucks. If you had five on the haul, that's the payout. We did it in three tosses. Three tosses. So practice it. Study it. Read up on it. Decide if you like the world bet or the nice deuce kicker or whether you like playing the three-way. If it's a $25 table, I'm doing the three-way. I've got to put on a $25 table, if I'm putting dollars in the crap check, seven, 14, 20, I gotta put four bucks to completely cover my 15. Can do three, I'm sorry, you'd have to do three bucks three bucks covers it. So why not do a three-way? Get 31, 31, 15 to one. Why would you put three dollars on a crap check when you can put three dollars on, on, on that if the casino will let you? It's much better, much better deal to play the three-way craps up there. Especially you have some confidence in your sets and you know what you're looking for when you toss it. Otherwise you're gonna make a you're gonna set a point number and just gonna play craps. But it's worth the effort a lot of times. 750 right there is worth the effort. I like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fifty. Practice like you play, play like you practice. Then go to the casino and roll to win. <laughs>